o hello Doris how are you Well, hello, Predis. All right, let me see. your day today everything good it was good okay it was a good day <laughs> all right let me see You you added the word Freddy's on your I was noticing that on the first one you sent me you didn't add the word um uh employees, right? Yeah. Right? Then you added that word. Yeah. So that means now you have to take the S away from professional because now you're using it as an adjective. It was oh, okay. adjective you cannot pluralize them. So you have to take the S away from professional because you added employees i'll do it right now all right now professionals is not a, a noun but we is used as an adjective so, let me see. good evening hello jackie how are you fine thank you teacher and you all right i'm doing great I'm doing great. Nice to have you here in class. All right. We have uh, Carla, Alvin, and Doris also. Welcome. Let me see. Just. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Alvin. Welcome. Let me see. Jackie. All right, Let's see, I'm going to start making the, the list. <laughs> Alvin. Yes, teacher. Okay, are you going to be ready for tomorrow? Freddy's, Blanca, Alvin, and Jennifer. You participate, Teacher, yes. Maybe I will do my presentation on Tuesday, on Thursday. Okay, yeah, Tuesday for you. Can I? <laughs> yeah, you can still do it. All right. Okay, thank you. All right, let me see. I will switch your name. All right. Okay. Please, please. All right. I'm going to make the list out today. Um, let me see. I'm going to go by the list. Abigail and Carlos, Doris, Edwin, Francisco, and Glenda. And it is all right. 
it is. Okay, that will be the list for Wednesday. And for Thursday will be Carla again Natalie Amen. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Nine, Okay. Okay, class. So I will present to you here briefly what the list will look like. All right. And ready or not right the only one that i allowed to move is alvin because he allowed to to put himself on wednesday right so he tell me since he gave that option i'm going to give him the option back to to refrain from wednesday so you will you will either way you were going to go thursday porque me iba a basar al listado de, de lista de asistencia right so you were the last one anyway, but I'm going to put you on uh, on Thursday. All right. So I'm going to, there will be 10 on Wednesday, tomorrow, and 10 on Thursday. All right. Whether you are ready or not, that we have decided those days, right? We pretty much voted on that to be Wednesday and Thursday. So I will not change those dates. Let me see. Okay, class. First thing I'm going to do is since I think it's already getting a habit. Uh, let me see. Okay. Let me see. Okay, Abigail. No problem. No problem. Remember, this is not an obligation, right? No problem. Cada quien decide. No problem, Abigail. I will exclude you. I will take you out of the list. No problem. Let me take you out. Where are you? Okay. Okay. Okay, Abigail, if you're listening to me, I already erased your name from the list. No problem. Anyone else, alguien más que no quiere, que no puede hacer o no quiere hacer la actividad, you can tell me. Okay? Please, feel free. Feel free. Tengan la libertad de hacerlo. There's no problem. All right? I will just write down that you didn't do it. That's it. All right. No problem. And let me see. Okay, anyone else? Anyone else? No? All right, let's continue. I'm going to, let me see. Let me see. All right. Let me take the attendance, all right, for the ones that are here. Let me begin. Okay, Abigail. Abigail. Okay. Let's see Blanca. Blanca. Okay. Brenda. She's not here. Carlos. Carlos. Here. Doris, 
Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Present Edwin. teacher. All right, great, thank you. Francisco. Hello, good evening, present hey, teacher. Hey, all right, awesome. Freddy's. I'm here. All right, cool. Glenda. Glenda. Okay, she's connected right now. I see her right here. Glenda. Good evening. All right, welcome. Thank you. All right, Iris. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, Jackie. Here. All right, great. Jarvin. Jarvin. Right here. Jennifer. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Juan Jose. Present teacher. Okay, great. Awesome. Carla. Present. All right, thank you. Miguel. Miguel. Not here. All right, let me see. Neftali. Neftali. Okay, not here yet. Roland. Okay, not here also. Delma, not here. Janari. She's not here also. All right. And finally, Alvin. Present teacher. All right, great. Let me see. All right, great. Okay, class, we are going to continue. And I just remember that today I'm going to give you extra time to, to work on the activity, right? That way um, there shouldn't be like, for example, an excuse, right? There shouldn't be an excuse as to that you didn't have time or you couldn't do it. Right. I'm giving you time right here in the in the class to catch up and to also ask questions, right? To also ask questions. Let me see. Um, all right, so we have here. Can you read please, Alvin? Okay, teacher. Unit two, logistics, checklist of 3PLs, vocabulary, speaking activity, workout rooms, and extra time for presentations. Tuesday, November uh, the 16th, 2021. Mm -hmm. November 16th. 16th. Uh, teacher, Mr. Henry, intermediate four. Class 11. All right, very good, right? Class 11. Yes, this is the 11th class. We just have 14 more to go, right? 14 more. Basically, by the end of this week and then Monday, Monday we will review Unit 2. That's all we're going to do on Monday next week. We're going to review all of Unit 2, and then we will begin Unit 3. Those are only going to be five days each, three and four are only going to cover five days. This is like the longest, the longest part, right? Like two weeks. All right, so now we will continue. We're going to also work on one, one page of the book, right? And let me see. It will be page 23. 23. Yes, page 23. That means page 24, we're finished with the unit, but we're not going to do that page till maybe Friday, right? Maybe Friday. So we're going to do other activities, tomorrow's presentations, Thursday's presentations, maybe do some speaking activities afterwards, uh, any comments or anything of that nature. And then Friday, we will do page 24, so we can finish unit two on Friday. And then on Monday, we will review everything that um, that we have seen we will give a review vocabulary different activities maybe do some um do some activities on the platform also right let me see okay now be 
before we go here, I'm going to give a reminder. Okay, here's the first thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to put it here so it can stay in the video conference. I'm going to write. Mm -hmm. No, I see no. I want it like that. All right. So this is for Wednesday, which is really tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. This is really tomorrow. Okay, if you see your name in there, all right, Freddy's. Number two, Blanca. Number three, it's going to be Jennifer. Number four, Carlos. Number five, Doris. Number six, Edwin. Number seven, Francisco. Number eight, Glenda. And number nine would be Iris. All right so you will you will do this two four six seven, all right so this is this is for tomorrow for tomorrow okay on thursday Why do I keep grabbing that back part? Okay. Now right, for Thursday. It will be Carla. It will be Alvin. It will be Jackie. It will be Jarvin. Juan Jose. Excuse me, teacher. In my case, mm -hmm. um, uh, do you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, in my case, I, I can't uh, to presentation, uh, make the presentation because I'm so busy in my job, it's very difficult for Okay, me. no problem, okay. no problem. Okay. All right, I asked earlier, si había alguien más, right? But don't worry, I will take you out, no problem. Let me erase you from my, from my list. Alguien más, última vez, Any, anyone else? All right, okay, let me just write here. will not do it all right no problem all right number eight let me change this anyone else please tell me now so i don't have to write your name here 
right. Okay, I guess, I guess not. All right, let's continue. Neftali, Roland, Rolando. Number eight will be Thelma. And number nine will be Janari. Okay, is there anyone that I missed? Let me see, 18, 19, 20, 21. And no, I think you're all here. All right, this is the list, so it'll be nine and nine. Okay, so let me see. Brenda. Excuse me? Uh, I don't know, see Brenda. Yeah, she's not going to do it. I don't think she has spoken here at all so i'm automatically assuming that she will not do it okay so i'm having that uh, assumption all right let me see so abigail excluded brenda and juan jose anyone else anyone else all right let me see. Okay, so we are here, right? I uh, I want to put it here so it can be recorded that um, the ones that will participate are here and the ones that are not going to participate, well, no, yeah, they already know who they are and I already mentioned the names, right? So the ones that are here, please uh, commit yourself, right? It's all about discipline and commitment for you to be ready for tomorrow and Thursday, right? And I'm also going to give you extra time today so that way there won't be like a, any excuse, right? Or excuses as to time, right? I'm going to provide you with that time here in the classroom. Let me see. So you can, uh, so you can move forward in advance, right? Remember, you can ask me the questions in the class and I'm going to give you at least maybe uh, 30 minutes today to continue in your preparation. And that way you don't consume any of your time, uh, free time, right? So we have 18, 18 people total, 18 volunteers. All right, so here's the list. Be ready, have it ready. If you want to write it down, you can, or you can take a screenshot and be ready for Wednesday. All right. Remember your time, your time's preparation. And all right. Let's move on to let me see here. All right. Let's go to page 20, 23. Page 23. And let's look at this. All right, this is basically building vocabulary. We're still talking about um, 3PLs, right? The third-party logistics. And let me see. Edwin, can you read for us, please? Of course, the church. All right, thank I will you. Be, I will be able to design a basic checklist to hire the uh, 3PL provider. Let's start. Does your company use basic warehouse functions like receiving, stacking, package, or shipping? Why it's important to do a throughout needs assessment before hiring a 3PL service provider? Okay. So why do you think, all right, does, does the company, the ones you're going to mention, right? do they do they receive do they stack do they package or ship anything and then why is it important to do a thorough needs assessment right before hiring a 3po service provider so do you think it's important to fully comprehend and give an assessment before hiring a 3pl a third-party logistics provider? Why is it important? Why do you think it's important 
to do this research, to do your own analysis before hiring a 3PL. To, to get the better results. Okay, very good. Better results. What kind of results? Like uh, reduced times and cost. Okay, reduced time and cost. Very good. Very good. Excellent, Edwin. Good analysis. Best employees. Huh? Best employees. Okay, very good. Anything in particular? Anything more specific? Actually, you don't have to hire that much people for in order to be um, delivering. Okay. All right. Okay, very good. Very good. Anyone else? Thank you, Freddy's. Anyone else? Anyone else that would like to give their critical thinking analysis? Okay, let me see. Freddy's and Edwin, right? All right. Anyone else? Last call. Anyone else? Oh, teacher, me. Okay, okay, it is. Thank you for taking this challenge, right? And participating in class. Thank you. It is. Continue. I think, I think it's important um, assessment the you, you, your economic situation because right. the uh, because when you hire a GPL or other service, uh, you you have uh, enough money enough money enough for pay the service. Okay, to pay the service, to pay the, pay the service. service. Okay, very good. Okay, so we're talking about different points there. All right, very good. Thank you, Iris. Thank you, Freddy's, Edwin, and Edith for your participation. All right. Okay. Now, let's continue. Can you read? Uh, please continue reading, please, Edwin. Yes, teacher. Building vocabulary match the logistic service to their corresponding meaning. Very good. Very good. So here we have vocabulary building vocabulary can you read uh, thank you edwin can you read the words in red um jackie jackie teacher if the one i can try go ahead I... okay okay all right jackie right on time right go ahead my microphone was oh sorry. Okay. Um, letter A, L E E D, certification. Okay, very good. Okay, letter B. Please, teacher, could you move the? Sure, no problem. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, okay, thank you. Freight forwarding service. Letter C, disaster recovery plan. In the cross docking capability. Okay. okay. Cross docking. Capability. Cross docking, right? Cross docking capability. capability. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we're learning a little bit more vocabulary here. And she already read the vocabulary words. And who asked? Someone spoke right now. Who was it? Was it? Who was it that wanted to read? Was it Jennifer? Jennifer. It was Jennifer? Yes. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, teacher. Sorry. Okay, can you read? A company that organized shipments for corporation to get goods from the manufacturer to a market customer or firma point of distribution. It provides a point system to score green building design and construction. Products from a supplier are distributed directly to a customer or retail change with marginal to no handling storage time. 
Excuse me? Bed of storage, storage time. Storage time. Okay. Set of procedures to recover and protect a business. IT infrastructure in the event of a disaster. Okay, of a disaster, right? Business IT. A IT. business IT infrastructure, right? Como IT. Uh, IT. No, the, the next word. Oh, infrastructure. Infra. 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 Mm -hmm. Infra structure. Structure. Yes. yes. Okay. Thank okay, very good. Very good. All right. Now, remember, this has to do with technology, right? Technology. The business IT, which is basically the... Um, Information technology, relation to technology, all right? And infrastructure, what is infrastructure? It's a Latin word. I think you can probably figure it out. Yes, infrastructure. Yes. very good, very good, very good. Okay, now we have vocabulary here. Can you, we're going to do it together in class, so don't get overwhelmed, right? But I'm going to give you a few minutes to do your own research, to do your own um, analysis about about the, the vocabulary and the definitions but I'm going to explain one by one at the end but I'm going to give you the time to use your 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 self analysis here or your own research to try to figure out the correct vocabulary to the correct definition so I'll give you your own individual time to try to figure it out and they would do not send it to me, okay? Do not send it to me. We're going to do it together as a class. Okay, I provided you with a little definition of what L-E-E-D certification stands for, okay? Just the word L-E-D, that doesn't mean that that is pretty much uh, 
what is here, but I'm giving you extra detail of what L-E-E-D stands for. The acronym. L-E-E-D means Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, right? Basically dealing with, um, with green energy. Okay, anything that I do with, with green, more like eco-friendly, right? All right, is everyone finished? Did you finish, Freddy's? Yes. All right, everyone else is finished? Okay. Now, what do we have here for, where will letter A go? What will be the L-E-E-D certification? Where would, where would that go? I'll do it. All right. Letter A is, it provides a point system to a score green building design and construction. Okay, that will be here. Let me write the. It'll be a number. Yeah, let me just do the arrow right here. All right, right here. Right? Yep. All yep. right, yep. great. All right, very good, very good. Now, what will be letter B? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Hey, hello, Yanari, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, a company that organizes organizes shipment, organizes shipment for corporations to get goods from the manufacturer to a market customers or final point of distribution. Okay, very good. Yes, thank you, Yanari. Okay, let us see where would that go. Me teacher. Me teacher. All right. Me teacher. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm glad, right? I'm glad everyone's participating, right? But but ladies first, ladies oh, first. Okay, go ahead. All right. Yes. Okay. Uh, Let us see. Disaster recovery plan. Uh, set up uh, producers procedures. Okay to recover and protect a business, IT infrastructure and the event of a disaster. Okay. 
Let me see. Let me write that. Right here. All right. Very good. Thank you, Carla. And the last one, Edwin. I mean, who was it? Was it Edwin? That... Yes, it was right. me. It was me. Yes. Okay. Um, letter D is product from a supplier are distributed directly to a customer or retail chain with marginal to no handling or storage time. Marginal. 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 What is okay. the meaning of marginal? Okay, with marginal two, no handling. All right. So here's a marginal es un, es un nivel de margen, right? A margin, like a level, oh. all right? Like a level of, un nivel de qué? What type of marginal are we talking about here? The margin. What type of margin are we talking about here? We're talking about, when we talk about cross-docking capability, we're talking about something like express right i'm going to give you an example dhl or what was the other one someone mentioned um what was the other dhl what is the other one fedex teacher. fedex thank you alvin right yes all right they provide their third-party logistics right they fall under this category because you go there when you want the service and you pay for that service, right? So you take a package and they say, okay, they give you the application and you fill it out. I want to send this package or packages, right? There's some boxes, hay una cajita que uno puede chequear. And it deals with time. Tiene que ver con tiempo, relevant to time. Have you ever seen them where it says 15 to 30 days, um, 17, 15 days, or express 72 hours or something like that, right? 24 to 72 hours, pero cuesta más, right? Those margins are what they're talking about here. Margins, those margins of time or those margins of storage, right? We're still talking about time. Como pueden ver aquí dice time. Todo relacionado con tiempo. All right. So we're talking about cross-docking capability. Something quick. Something fast. We're like, um, for example, let's say that you, you're driving, right? And it's at night. It's about one in the morning. Digamos, la una de la mañana. Imagine this, Edwin. Eh, ¿Hay servicio a esa hora de bus? ¿A la una de la mañana? No. No, right. Okay. That's one. All right. There's no service there, right? So what are you, what are you going to do, Edwin? ¿Qué vas a hacer si te quedas en medio de la litoral? Uh, probably uh, I would call an Uber. <laughs> okay, you will if call I, an Uber. I, yeah. Okay. So the Uber will will get there quick, right? Or whoever's closer, right? Because they want to get paid, right? Van a llegar lo más pronto posible, right? So that's fast service. But what will you do with your car? Ah, yeah. <laughs> Record, right? I would rather, all right, I could call an Uber just to get out of the area, right? But what about your car? <laughs> You're yeah. going to leave it there? I, I, that, yeah, that's true. All I, right. So, I just think to, to go out the area, right? Yeah, there you go. There you go, right? But the Uber, do you think that if you leave your car there, everything will be there the next day? That is a possibility so, that not, right? That, that is so not. Los a encontrar. <laughs> All right. So what are you going to do? Like Yanari said, you're going to call a record company, right? Now, there are some record companies that at night, they charge more, but they're available. And they will get to the area, right? Although it's going to cost you more. 
So it's more expensive. Yeah, third party logistics, right? They're going to get there as soon as possible. Créeme, la reca va a llegar lo más pronto posible para agarrar okay. el billete, right? No van a estar, ay, vamos a llegar después. No, no. They're going to be, we're on our way. Y salen, right? Chispeado, right? They leave and they're going to be there as soon, I mean, as fast as they can because they want to get paid. Es la forma que ganan dinero, right? So they're going to see the opportunity and they're not going to waste it. Those are cross-docking capabilities where you're talking about time. Where you're doing, la logística se hace quickly, right? Sin pensarlo, ya voy, boom, right? That's what this means, Edwin. That's what he's talking about, right? That marginal. Thank you so much, teacher. All right, ese margen de tiempo, that's what he's referring to. All right, very good. Let's continue with the, with the next part. Can you read, please, Janari? Okay, teacher. Group work. Discuss the following checklist with areas to consider when evaluating your third party logistics candidate. Which are the most important? All right, very good. So which are the most important? So what do you think is more important when you are evaluating a third party logistics, right? Third party logistics, your candidate. Los candidatos, right? We, you mentioned about the uh, the record, right? The record, la grúa, record, right? The record company. Now, what about other third-party logistics? I mentioned FedEx, DHL, right? You have other you have other third-party logistics, right? By sea, by water, right? Through ships, for example. Um, Janari, just to ask you this question, if you buy, if you want to buy a car, for example, at an auction, eh, una subasta, right? I know you probably heard about this, right? If you want to buy it and you have someone here with a license to buy the car, you pay that person to buy it for you. How is that car going to get here? In a ship. Exactly, right? That is third party logistics, right? And they give you a time frame. I don't estimate time, right? And then you wait for it once it comes into the dock, right? Here in, a, I don't know, where, wherever it comes, La Union or wherever it's going, right? And then you take over your car, you pay the taxes, right? You have to pay the taxes. And they, they load up the car and they probably take it to a, to a car shop and they paint it, they fix it, right? And they make it like, like new, right? So that is another third-party logistics, right? By ship. So, can you continue, please? Please check. Okay. Please check the column, <coughs> the column yes or no, for each of the statements about three PL candidates. All right. So we have here some statements, and you have to say whether. Remember, this might this might be uh, like, for example. There isn't a right or wrong answer. That's what I'm getting at here. So the answers are based on your perception. Okay. Based on your perception. Now, can you read the, let me see. Freddy's, can you read the first three, please? Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to read the letters on blue? No, she read that already. Okay. Number one, they're financially stable with a long history of successful operation. Number two, they have a great reference. Number references. Three, references. Number three, they have a disaster recovery plan. Okay, Direct very good. All right, very good. So what do you think i'm going to let you do this on your own and then we're going to talk about it okay then we're going to talk about it but i'm going to let you analyze this question and then you decide if it's a yes or a no is it important es importante si sí o no is it important yes or no whatever statement it is you did you put check or a x put in no doris can you read 
Four and five, please. Can you he uh, repeat? Can, can you read number four and number five, please? Number four. The offer cross talking capacity. capacity. Uh, capability. Capability. No lleva C aquí. Capability, Doris. Cap Capa Cap capability. Capability. All right. Much better. Mucho no. mejor. Number five. Yes. They offer freight following service. Services. Services. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Doris. All right. So they offer cross docking capability and they offer freight forwarding services. Um, Francisco, can you read the last two, please? Yes. <clears throat> uh, they offer freight forward service. Mm, ya le hicimos esa. All right. Last, number see. seven. Number six and number seven, Francisco. Ah, okay. They have experience in the countries in which uh, you do you do business. Yes, very good. Okay, okay. It's a little small. Okay, let me let me help you. Can you please? Yeah. Uh, do a zoom. All right. Let me see. They have L E E D. Can you see it? Uh, yes, teacher, but it's other uh, screen. Ah, this is. Can yes. you see the whole uh, screen? Yes. Uh, right now, yes. However, it's. <laughs> I can see only number four. Number four? Okay, that was too much, right? All right. Let me see. All right. Uh, it's other. Okay, just do it right here. Uh, Let me see. Okay. Uh, Can you see it now? Um, I can see only. Yes, 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 yes. Right now, yes. Uh, they have all EED. Uh, Leadership. 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 Okay. Leadership in energy, um, environment. Envi environmental. Environment. Environmental. Environmental. Design. Design. Yes. Certification. Very good. Excellent. All right. Now, let me see. Check. Check the ones that you think are important that a third logistical party should have third party logistics should have let me see okay so i'll give you a, a few minutes to to analyze it and then we we can talk about it okay okay I'll give you a few minutes. You do not have to send it to me.
<coughs> Teacher. Yes. What is the meaning uh, for cross rockings? Rocking. Excuse me. What is the meaning for cross rocking? Okay. Uh, can someone tell Francisco what is the meaning of cross docking capability? A qué nos referíamos? When the the three PL service is quick, is fast, very efficient. Very good. Oh, okay. Perfect. That is correct. Thank you, thank it you. was this one right here. Have you ever gone to a store and you expect something like this, like cross docking, and you will be like, ah, yo pienso que I think they can do this. And then you get there and they tell you, oh, your product will be here. We have to order it from here. And it takes about three to four days. And you're like, come on, right? That is not cross docking. <laughs> that is, that is plain, uh, they're taking their sweet time. <laughs> it's not cross docking. Right? But you would think some big corporations will actually move quickly, but in reality, they don't, right? In reality, they don't. All right. Okay. Let's, uh, before we, we begin the speaking part about about these statements here. Let me do the second attendance. Let me clear our drawings. Okay, let me do the second attendance. Let me begin. Abigail. Abigail. All right. Blanca. Blanca. All right. Let me see. Brenda. Brenda. Okay, she's not even connected. Carlos, Carlos, all right, let me see. Doris, Doris. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin. Present teacher. All right, great. Francisco. Present teacher. All right, great. Freddy's. Thank you. Thank you. All right, great, awesome. Glenda. Present teacher. All right. It is present. All right, thank you. Jackie. I'm here. All right, great. Jarvin. Jarvin. Okay, not here. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose. Juan Jose. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Carla. Carla. Okay, no answer. Uh, Miguel. Present. Okay, thank you, Carla. Miguel. Okay, not here. Neftali. Neftali. Okay, not here. Roland. Also, Tema. And Janari. I'm here. Okay, thank you. And finally, Alvin. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. All right. All right, great. All right, let's continue. Okay. Now, we asked these questions, and you were, you were supposed to determine whether or not 
they were important based on your own personal analysis. Number one, it says they are financially stable with a long history of successful operation. Do you think that is important? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, right? Yes, All right? Definitely yes, teacher. Exactly, right? You have to be able to to comprehend that, okay, if, if, third, if this third-party logistics, are they financially stable? And if they are, right, it's important for you to, to know. And also the history, right? The success, successful operation of the company, right? Very Richard, good. Yes. But I think there are some problems in, in some companies. Okay. Tell because me about they, it. they hide the, the, the previously situation about it. Uh, maybe we don't know if they are financially stable or what about the history or or successful operation but maybe we can we can consult to other companies if they are stable yeah exactly right sometimes the word of mouth right word of mouth in other words verbal communication right sometimes they can tell you like no man don't go to that company right me the ah, to yes to right this and that and last time they did this and the client you know okay you got right that whole chaos right Sometimes we learn a lot from others when we communicate with other people and try to get answers. Very good observation, Alvin. Excellent. Well done. That is totally correct. All right. Number two, what do you think? They have great references. All right. This is, I guess, in connection with what Alvin just said, right? As yes. other people, uh, do you think it's important that they have great references, right? Yes, it's important, right? Of course, it's important. It's always important because that's how we go to places, right? We go to certain places or we acquire a service or a product based on what other people tell us, right? Based on references, right? No, mira, te voy a referir a este, right? So we go there based on what other people tell us and based on good experiences, right? Now, let's look at number three. They have a disaster recovery plan. Hmm. Do you think that I is think, Yes, I think that is very important, teacher. All right. I, I, I think that you say the in, in other class, like when I ask for for if the if you contract um you buy you buy a product and yeah, you need to send for a a freight forward or a courier. Yes. If the product have uh, any damage, what happened? Exactly. Um, for this reason, I think that it is uh, very important that the company offer the, the the recovery plan. Exactly. Very good, Francisco. Great, great analogy, right? Yes, from past from past video conferences. Very good. You were able to to understand what I said during that time, and now you applied that understanding and that knowledge here. Very good, Francisco. Excellent. Teacher, I think perhaps of the situation because uh, recovery, disa uh, disaster recovery, uh, it depends of the, the weather, of, the, of an accident or something like that. But I don't know, maybe yes or no. Okay, all right. Mm, what do you mean by yes or no? It's not like a... a like a checklist when I decide to hire a company. Okay. So you, you, you it's, think- It's not important. Yeah, okay. for me, maybe think, it's not important. So this could be, in other words, this could be optional. Yeah, it's optional. Maybe uh, everybody makes mistakes and I think maybe an accident or weather could be a disaster. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Remember, there, there's no right or wrong answer, right? If you can, if you can argue the point, that is awesome, right? If you can uh, pretty much elaborate what you mean, that is perfect. Very good. Very good, Alvin. Right? And that's that's also true because I can say no, I don't want insurance, so I can pay less, right? It could be optional, right? I could say no, I don't want it fully insured, just partially. And I just pay three dollars, or I want full coverage, twenty-five dollars. Right? Boom. It depends. Also, right? It depends. That that is the same way 
I'm going to give you, now that Alvin mentioned it, I'm going to give another example. If you drive, si usted maneja en Estados Unidos, por ley, no es que si uno quiere, es ley estatal en todos los Estados Unidos. En todos los estados. Ah, very good. You have to have car insurance, right? Yep. It's a law. There is like, oh, no más aquí, allá, porque allá, no, no, no. In every state, you must have car insurance, right? But, ustedes sabían que hay diferentes tipos de aseguranzas? Just like Alvin mentioned, right? Something, right? It could be optional. You have liability. Hay una que es liability. Que es lo mínimo. Minimal standards, right? For example, if a police officer pulls you over, si un oficial policía te para, te va a pedir licencia, aseguranza y registration, right? Si no anda la aseguranza, pues ahí mismo le cae la esquela. The ticket, right? Your ticket. But if, if you have two types of insurance, liability, which is the minimum, right? I'm going to put a minimum, right? Which is minimum. And then you have full coverage. Full coverage, right? You pay more. Aquí se paga más. But te cubre todo. Right? It covers everything, right? If at a parking lot, a car hits you and you don't see, si, si usted está parqueado, va, y you go inside Walmart and you come out y después tiene un chollón, un raspón, pues, you say, okay, you call your insurance right there, you take a picture, llega una gente y te dan lo que es una validation to fix it, right? Or what do you think it will cost to fix it? That is full coverage, right? Or if you have a car accident, and the car is crashed, they just give you another car, right? But if you have That's liability, well. yeah, right? But yeah. if you have liability, ahí no más cubre minimal, right? Ahí no es que te van a dar un carro nuevo, nothing like that, right? It's just minimal. So you won't get a ticket pretty much, right? It just covers minimum. Full coverage covers all the passengers and yourself in case of a, a injury. So. That was something that uh, Alvin mentioned I wanted to share with you in relation to traffic laws in the United States. All right, let's continue. Mm, Freddy's, what do you think yeah. about they offer cross docking? Yeah, it's very important. Especially right. something quick. When you need, let's say if you're getting a delivery and you need the product right now or for the for the same day because you need to use it for something, maybe some material. Exactly. All right. You can't wait like a week. Wait yeah. till it goes it goes there and then it comes back and all that. Very good. Excellent. All right. Thank you, Freddy's. Okay, what about number five? Who wants to do number five? I believe that yes, teacher. Okay, tell me about it. Uh, maybe, well, uh, it's common, for, uh, for example, that some company offer the service to freight forward. Okay. Maybe they, they do the all contact in other countries, uh, for fly the, the goods. Well, for example, for the Salvador, and maybe they uh, they are all off, offering the the service of freight forward. Exactly right. For example, uh, we mentioned earlier about the cars, right? If you get cars, they come in a ship, right? Yes. Or for example, when in my case, when 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 we buy uh, some product, for example, in, in USA, um, you, um, my boss need this product very quickly in El Salvador. Uh, we use a service of the fast cargo, for example. Okay. And they do the, 
world contact in USA. Um, they fl fly yeah. well. They yeah. fly the wood with the um, how do you say aerolines? Airlines. Different different airlines. Uh, for example, Avianca, American, or Amerijet. Very good. Yes, very good, right? Excellent. Well done. And they also keep a good tracking of all the yes. products, right? They keep track of everything. The freight forwarding services, they keep all the tracking for you. So you can just put the, they might have an app or a website where you just put the, the number of the shipping number and then they track it for you, right? Very good. Thank you, Francisco. Excellent. Number six, who wants to do number six? Okay, I will call on someone who it is. Go ahead. For me, yes, teacher, because it's important uh, that the um, outsourcing or candidates the TRIPL of TRIPL have experience in countries in which which I do business because if if they haven't experienced, it's very difficult uh, that I, I have security in, in delivery or, or my product um, become to my customer. Okay, very good, very good. So it's always good to be knowledgeable, right? Just like you mentioned, experience experience doing business here in the country very good it is excellent excellent and the last one who wants to do the last one anyone anyone would like to do the last one okay okay i, I will point to participate okay thank you Juan Jose. they have lead leadership in energy and environmental design certification um i think that is very important i i put yes Okay. I think that I think that is necessary that the the building, for example, um, or the construction was building uh, with the technology led or special certification led. Very good. Yes. Very good. In, in El Salvador, we have a, a certification on that. Okay. That is great. How do you think? Um, what are the benefits? Can you give me at least one benefit for the class? Can you okay. share? Okay. Yes, you, because the, the the for example, it's very important because you can reduce the energy, the ener the electric energy. For example, you can reduce. Um, you can um to to uh, improve or mejor uh serve mejor i don't know yes improve yes improve uh the the illumination for example is very important there are many many uh things that i don't remember but in salvador is the opams uh, who uh uh, have the regulation in, in Salvador. All right, very good, very good. Excellent, maybe there's a, there's another word that can go here also, recycle, right? Yes. Reciclar, right? Yes. Let's put it here. So I think you gave us the most important part, which is reduce, right? Reducir, improve, mejorar y reciclar will be another word you can add to this. Thank you, Juan Jose, for your input and your analysis. Perfect. Well done. Correctly said. Very good. Yes. And I wrote it here because I think it's important for all of us to understand that, that environmental designs are not just made to make money. They are made to improve and reduce and recycle any, anything that could be toxic to the environment, right? All right, let's continue. 
So we gave our own explanations, your own ideas. You had the opportunity to participate. And thank you all for the ones that actually gave their opinion, their expressions in regards to this activity number three, which is really in groups, right? But we did it here in class. Okay, thank you. Let's continue now. Okay, I'm going to give you, like I promised, como se los prometí, I'm going to give you time because I know that some of you work, some of you are busy. So I'm going to give you time here in class to finish, to continue. I'm going to give you at least 30 minutes, right? To get everything together. If you want to rehearse, just turn off your microphone, right? Y aquí lo puede hacer. Aquí puede ensayar, nomás apaga su micrófono. And you can do the rehearsal here. And take advantage. Tome la ventaja de este tiempo that I'm giving you. All right, take advantage of it. Because I know that once you finish the class, you have other things to do. Y ya, your time will be running out. And then you can also ask me, okay? So I'm going to leave you here, 30 minutes, continue to work, prepare your presentation. If you have any questions, remember. Ah, cuantas diapositivas? How many slides? Three to four. All right, three to four. Uh, no me van a salir con una siete diapositivas, all right? Ahí no va a lograr cinco minutos, all right? Three to four slides. Now, if you can do say teacher, pero yo con dos puedo, with two slides, you can. No problem. Right? If you can do everything, one slide, quizás el logo, a slogan, and, and, your, and your name, and your position, your status, right? And maybe do, do the beginning, the product or service. And then on the second slide, you can answer the other, the other questions, right? The cost and profit, direct or indirect distribution, and your proposal for improvements. And whether or not you're using inbound, outbound, or third-party logistics, or a combination. That's it. So I guess two, three to four slides max, two slides minimum. Oh, I misspelled minimum. It's supposed to be with an M. Remember that when we talk about the, the cost and profit, remember I gave you the examples using the gallons of alcohol, right? Remember I put a, how much they cost, how much am I shipping, or am I working with third logistics, third party logistics? Um, in that case, I was doing, que tipo de logistica utilicé allí? Inbound, outbound, or third party when I gave the explanation? I talked about outbound logistics, right? Where I'm just going to send everything and go to a park somewhere and sell the gallons, 100 gallons of, for how much was it? $10, right? Or something like that.
What are slides? Looking at these slides. It is. When does it go two slides or three to four slides? What am I talking about? Uh, the, the presentation in the presentation or PowerPoint, for example. Very good. Yes. Very good. Uh, only three or four. Very good. Excellent. So slides on Esther, right? This on the side. One, two, as you can see, I have seven here, but you're only going to have three to four, right? Three to four, or two minimum, two slides minimum. So I'm going to get some water real quick. I'll be right back. Okay.
Doris. Hello, Doris. Hello. Okay, I got your your message and your your uh, your document here. Okay, so you want me to put it in in share it as a PowerPoint or or, or just a Word document? Uh, um, for me, it's a uh, different uh, PowerPoint or on document. Okay. I, I, what, I, what do you uh, prefer, Doris? Uh, I will share it. I can share it both ways. I can share it as PowerPoint or I can share it in Word because you sent me a Word document, right? So yeah. I'm asking uh, which do you prefer for me to do? Uh, I I go in document because I know I know Okay. No uh, problem. PowerPoint. Okay. So I will put it here in Word in a Word document, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right, no problem. <laughs> okay, Jackie, I understand. All right, but remember that I also look at effort, right? Yo también observo el esfuerzo que hace. So thank you, all right, for for continuing, Jackie, and you're doing great. Just continue, all right? You change this, ya le cambio eso, but no problem, all right? No problem. If you change the logo or slogan, okay? Thank you, teacher. All right, no problem, right?
Remember, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Teacher. Yes? Can I, uh, can I send you the, the PowerPoint presentation to a previous evaluation for your opinion? Because I want to be ready to the exposition. Yeah, you can send it to me. Okay, thank you. Okay. You can send it to me.
Okay, class. Hope you had enough time to at least work on your presentation. I'm going to do the final attendance. See. Abigail. Right. Blanca. Okay, not here. Brenda. Carlos. Carlos. All right. Doris. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Present. Okay, thank you. Francisco. Present, teacher. All right, great. Freddy's. I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Glenda. Present, teacher. All right. Iris. Present. Okay. Jackie. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Jarvin. Okay. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose. Okay. Carla. A present. Okay, thank you. Miguel. Neftali. Roland. Thelma and Janari. Okay, Janari. Right. I know you're here. I see you. Okay, Alvin. Present teacher. All right, great. Okay, let me see. All right, class. So for tomorrow, remember you are going to begin this. And as you can see, this is the list for tomorrow. All right. So Freddy, you're going first, then Blanca and Jennifer, Carlos. All right. I'm going to put this in the group. Let me see. I'm going to send it. All right. All All right, there you go. All right, so I have sent the list to the group so that way everyone can see it, including the administration and the and your fellow classmates, right? Just in case they can join, they, they might want to join the class, right? They can they can feel free to join also, all right? So I'm letting it, everyone know who are the participants who will be participating for tomorrow and Thursday's presentation. All right. And that will be it. That will be it for today. And today is Jackie stays. Everyone else, a good night. Take care. And I see you tomorrow for those that are going to give the presentations. I'm going to begin about maybe give everyone time to join, right? We're not going to start right at the beginning, but we will give a little bit of time, maybe 15 to 20 minutes before we begin uh, full force. Okay, class, you have a good night. Take care. 
And like I mentioned earlier, Jackie is staying tonight for the extra 10 minutes. Everyone else, good night. Take care. And thank you for being here today and participating. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye. All right. All right. Good night. Bye-bye. Teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, I sent the, the two pictures uh, about the activity for tomorrow. When could you please uh, check when you have a little moment? Me lo mandaste a, a mí? Yes. Right now? Yes, uh, but uh, in a pictures. Uh, let me see. I don't know. If, I don't think you. It's the concept that do you need that explain for tomorrow? All when right. you have a, a little moment. But you send it to me? You know, this yes. video. Yes. Where? Yesterday. Yes, oh, okay. Let me see. You send it just a few minutes ago. Hace unos minutos, right? All right. Okay, I saw it. two pictures, right? Yes, two pictures. All right. Okay. I will let you know when I finish with uh, Jackie. I will yes. revise it. Okay. Okay. No problem. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you, you teacher. Um, All right. Excuse me, Paul. No problem, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good night. Okay, good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Let me remove these people. Let me see. Okay, hello, Jackie. Okay, teacher Henry, Mr. Henry. Uh huh. How are you? A little tired, but. A little tired, huh? Yes, I understand. Yes. Yeah, that, that's why that's why I gave the extra time in the conference for everyone to work, right? And that way, it doesn't take a, it doesn't take time from you to do your things, right? Eh, por eso mm -hmm. le 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 brindé el tiempo en clase, right? So you can work. Yes. Okay. I appreciate that teacher. <laughs> yes, right. I'm, I'm pretty sure um, a lot of people are like, yeah, all right, porque para andar en todo esto, right? Just take the time, all right? <laughs> yes, that's true. All well, right. teacher, uh, mm -hmm. for today, um, well, I was thinking and I, what I'm going to ask to the teacher today, okay. but uh, I would like to to ask you, well, if you can help me to understand a little bit more about my presentation for Thursday. Okay. I don't know if it's possible or no, or will be another kind of question. Okay, so you you uh, uh, you sent me the the logo, right? Homemade food, feeling like in home. Yes. Is that correct? Okay, Say I was going to tell you. Can you take uh -huh. out the preposition? Okay. Feeling like home. Remember, una frase, right? Uh -huh. So take out in. Get the little in. In. Yes. Okay. Feeling okay. Like home. Feeling like home. Like home. I'm feeling yeah. like home. Okay. I'm yeah, going right? to. Feeling like feel... home. Feeling like home. Sentirse en casa. Okay. Ah, okay. Feeling so, like. You don't have to put the in because it's a phrase. Y una frase uh -huh. está dando esa, esa, uh, mm, esa comunicación. Right? Uh -huh. sentirme, yeah. sentirme como en casa. Es lo que quiere decir, right? Yes, yes. All right? yes. Feeling like home or sentirse en casa, right? So the in, you can take it out because in English, some phrases ya da esa, eh, esa reflexión. It's giving that reflection already of what you mean. All right. Oh, yeah. All okay. right. Okay. The other thing is that I choose the outbound logistics. Okay. Outbound logistics, right? Outbound logistics, yes. But I don't know if it's necessary to include um, inbound logistics or not. Okay. Now, you can include it, Jackie. Lo puede incluir. Mm -hmm. You can include it, but be careful not to um, 
overwhelm yourself where you mm -hmm. lose track, all right? Que ya se pierde y se va muy allá en inbound, because remember, yes. in, inbound es lo que entra, right? The inbound. Mm -hmm. Now, you can mention yes. it, si se puede tardar unos 10, 15 segundos, right? But don't go mm -hmm. like, yeah, inbound, y empieza a hablar de inbound, inbound, and then you lose no. focus, all right? I But must you... be focused only in outbound. Okay, yes, it? it'll be better. Mm -hmm. But if you can combine mm -hmm. the two without getting lost, All right. Yes. All right. I, I included inbound. I said, ¿por qué incluyo inbound, teacher? Right? Because, como lo vimos en la clase, mm -hmm. right? I added it there just in case someone wants to combine them. Por si acaso alguien lo quiere combinar, right? Yes, but, but I can't. All right. So, <laughs> the, the only uh -huh. thing that I'm looking for is just one. Select one. Outbound. Mm -hmm. Just select one. Either. No podía seleccionar una que sea inbound, right? Because then that would be outside the company. Pero era, era outbound or third party logistics. Una de uh -huh. esas dos. Y si, quería, uh -huh. y si quería incluir el inbound, you can, right? But you do not have no. to. No es el requisito para esta presentación. Right? Oh, I, okay. I only put okay. it, I only put it because lo presenté. Right, uh -huh. and if someone uh -huh. says, "Teacher, eh, usted habló de inbound, ¿y por qué no lo pone?" Right, y alguien, siempre va a haber alguien, right? So I said, "Okay, I'm going to include all three para que no quede ninguna duda. It's optional if you want to combine, pero requisito uh, nomás es uno, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, I take the outbound logistics. Okay. Outbound, eh, outbound logistics. But another question is." Well, my topic is food, but how can I uh, do a, a what? The, 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 well, in the previous classes, you, you explained about the alcohol and prices and cost and what will be the- The profit. The profit, exactly. But in this case, I'm going to talk about food and there are okay. a lot of products ingredients and okay. for me i don't know how can i um organize yourself right mm -hmm. the thing is here is organization jackie all right okay la idea ya la tiene yes it's how to organize that idea into mm -hmm. the, into your presentation right now yeah when we talk about the cost and profit usted está hablando de food right yes so, Also, no, no es necesario que empiece a poner todo hasta la, la sal, right? There's no need, all right? There's no need, all right? Remember, things that are minimal, algo que es mínimo, centavos, mm -hmm. you don't have to put it here. La mm -hmm. esencia, the main, the main focus is, es, es como que yo diga, ok, en, en mi esa, las tuve que limpiar y tuve que comprar una toallita de un dólar, right? <laughs> right? Tuve que limpiar la, la galona, mm -hmm. right? It's like, mm -hmm. it's... I'm overreacting, estoy overreacting, all right? Now, Jackie, all you have to do is main food. ¿Cuál es su main food? La comida main principal. Food. La, elija como uno o dos, all right? No vaya a empezar a, a hacer como 10 diferentes tipos de, de comidas, all right? Focus on just a few, porque nomás es una presentación de cinco minutos, all right? Yes. Yeah. All right, so don't get, es como que yo hubiera dicho, ok, eh, te esto van a dar, te esto vender los galones de alcohol, alcohol, pero también alcohol, y también guantes, y también mascarilla, eh, eh, right, and I will be like, ok, ahí me voy a tardar unos 20 minutos, right? Yes. You see, for the pandemic, no nomás se necesita el alcohol, pero la, galones de desinfectante, and this, and that, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. face mask, eh, face shields, right? And add all that. No, just give me something, a principle, right? You can say chicken, right? Or chicken. Meat. Uh -huh. Or meat. Uh -huh. Okay, or meat. Y basémonos en eso, all right? And maybe salad, uh, vegetables, right? Uh-huh, vegetables. Okay. All right, you can say food and vegetables, meat, chicken, and vegetables. ¿Va? ¿Cuánto me tardan en decir eso? Cinco segundos. 
right? Jeez. And then you don't have to be specific, right? You have to say tomatoes and uh, dos libras de tomate y cinco. Yeah, you can say, just say vegetables, right? Uh -huh. Vegetable. Porque cuando usted hace una, usa, usa, uh, cuando usted hace una sopa, no empieza así. Le puse un media papa. Le puse una tajada de... Eh, le, no, nomás. Tiene sopa con vegetables. Right? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Cuando vivimos en no sabemos si fue una media papa o una papa entera. Right? So, that's where I'm getting at. Try to be um, centralized. Centralice todo. Okay? Un enfoque eh, overall. Overall. No tan específico. Right? Uh, okay. Meat and vegetable, right? Todos sabemos que en esto va eh, ingredientes o cosas así, no sé qué tipo de comida, right? But you can say chicken, meat, and vegetables, and maybe, I don't know, rice, beans, right? You can add that, pero esos son unos dos, tres segundos, right? Mm -hmm. And then you can say, okay, how much cost? The cost, el costo. Two dollars and fifty cents. Mm, el costo es todo lo que usted ha gastado para hacer la comida. But it depends how many uh, portions. Uh, con, con platos o porciones, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You decide that, Jackie, usted decida eso, si son eh, 50, para 50 platos sí. o nomás tiene para 20. Tiene su límite, right? Una persona mm -hmm. que vende comida no va a comprar un trailer y vender 5 platos, right? Yeah. So you have to be able to understand quantity, la cantidad. Right. Okay, so 50, cost, 50. All right. So the cost, ¿cuánto le va a costar todo para producir el producto? All right. That's your cost. Mm -hmm. Y luego le va a dar expenses. Lo gasto. Uh, how much I'm going to invest. Exactly, right? How much are you going to invest in, in expenses, right? El plato, si es eh, desechable o no. Lo, la, la napkin, right? Those type of things, right? Y si va a contratar a alguien o no, usted lo va a hacer misma. Right? Mm -hmm. You can do that also, right? You can say, uh, you can be yourself the seller. ¿Y cuánto va a ser allí? Después que usted resta, suma todo el cost y expenses, ahí le va a dar un número. ¿Cuántos platos va a ser? Digamos que sean 20 platos. ¿A cuánto va a ser cada plato? 20 plates. Yo no sé si es comida así o me estoy equivocando. I don't know. No, no, no. That's it. Okay. okay 20 plates, right? 20 platos. ¿A cuánto? Eight. Ahí usted decida si es a, a tres o a cuatro o three, four or, or depending uh -huh. on the three, four, five or two fifty. I don't know. Right? Okay. Yeah. And that would be when you do everything, what would be your profit? ¿Cuál sería su ganancia después de que profit? Right? Profit. ¿Qué sería la ganancia? Uh -huh. Ah, I misspelled it. Okay. That would be your ganancia after, la ganancia viene después de que usted ya hizo todos los cálculos de expenses, costs, and all that, right? Digamos que gastó 50 dólares de, de carne y vegetables, 50, right? Y los platos y todos, unos 10 dólares, I don't know, 60 dólares, right? Entonces, aquí serían 60 dólares, y digamos que usted va a vender, son para 30 platos, right? Entonces, para break even, para quebrar sin ganancia, o sea que nomás vendió, por, nomás para quebrar, o sea, even, empatar, right, el gasto y todo, se, sería 30 platos por times, um, eh, para agarrarlos, eh, sería a 2 dólares, para llegar a, al break even, que serían 60, right, pero ahí no hay ganancia, entonces, ¿cuánto ah. tendría que vender usted el plato para ir en ganancia? Digamos a tres dólares, right? Three dollars. Okay. okay, so 30 por tres, 30 times three is 90, right? 90. O 90. Entonces, si usted dice, okay, tengo 90 aquí y invertí en todo 60, ¿cuánto es, cuánto es su profit? ¿Cuánto es su ganancia? 30 dólares. Ah, very good. So ese día usted hizo 30 dólares profit. $30 profit, yeah. All right, okay. ya agarró esto. All right. Yes, clear. Ah, all right, great. Ya ve que fácil, very good. So remember, yes. y usted no me va a poner esto, no me va a poner todo escrito, please, all right. Usted puede no. decir, ok, eh, meat, vegetables, and, and chicken, cost, bla, 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 and expenses, bla, 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 y cuántos platos, 30 plates, direct distribution, right, va a ser, Outbound, direct, 
distribution right. directamente al cliente. Yes. Compre, compre, right? And then you sell it and this is your profit, all right? Yes. $30 at the end. And then va a dar usted lo que es un propose for improvement. Un, un, un propose. De las uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. all right? Para mejorar. Uh -huh. Usted puede decir, uh, maybe um, buy more vegetables and meat to sell more plates. Right? Porque la demanda uh -huh. está creciendo. The demand exactly. is whatever, right? I use that. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, teacher, thank you. I really, really appreciate no your problem. help. And uh, this is this uh, 10 minutes was like, uh, I don't know if there is in English a phrase to, like in Spanish, when we said, uh, como agua de mayo. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a blessing, right? Una bendición, right? <laughs> uh, yes, it's like a blessing, really, uh, yes. All this day, I was um, revising, checking the um, all the manual from the unit one, also some vocabulary that I didn't understand, and it helped me a lot. But this is the, the, the cherry on the top, uh, a cherry yeah. on cake, right? Yes, right? <laughs> on the top thing, right? Okay, so you uh -huh. see how easily, yeah. yeah uh -huh. So you were probably así, así. No matter, you just need a little bit of organization. That's it, all right? La idea ya la tenía, all right? Yes. So Thank it was you, a, teacher. no problem. It was a pleasure helping you, Jackie. And remember, if you ever have any any other doubts, I'm here to help you, okay? Thank you so much. Okay. And have a Okay. Uh, next. Okay. Uh, remember, I sent you some things, uh, some links to some videos, right? And it was yes, because it I remember you had asked me about some uh, phonetics, right? Phonetics, and then yeah. when I was looking at my notes, I was like, <laughs> Jackie, I had a note for it. Tenía una estrellita by your name, right? And I was like, oh, I forgot to send her that, right? With so many students, <laughs> pero como lo tenía escrito, that's why I was like, oh, I gotta send it to her, right? And I have thank forgot. You, okay, no problem. <laughs> thank you. Right. I know you are um, busy every day, but thank you to take time to think in that. No problem. I will a... check. I will check uh, one of these days. When I will have a a free a time, time. Yes. yes, because I I have a big oh, sorry, I have to or I need time, but with any distraction, yes. to be focused. without <laughs> without right without, oh, without. <laughs> any distraction. Okay, without, I, I like your Christmas tree. I can see it glowing there. Oh, <laughs> yes, very my decoration. Christmas tree. Yes, it's <laughs> nice. It's very beautiful. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> and thank there you. are some is it stuffed teddy animals, snowing. teddy bear, a snowman, uh -huh, uh -huh. snowman, right? Teddy bears with <laughs> snowman, <laughs> all right. The hand is snowman. <laughs> okay. All right. all right. Good night, Jackie. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, teacher. Okay. Blessings. Blessings to you also. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.